So let me get started. So I want to talk about like all the different ways that we can um, find storage facilities today and then how I personally do it myself, how Chris does it. He's my acquisitions person and um, how um, how we've we now have three facilities under contract that we're pitching to lenders right now to get funding for. And uh, and on top of that, um, we have a fourth one that we're about to get under contract. So how is Chris finding all these facilities? I'm gonna show you how we do that now. Okay, so let me share my screen and we are going to get into Google Maps. Now, uh, and actually while we do that, what I wanna do is um, I wanna kind of have a, I wanna have a question to everybody out there is, um, if you were like, if you were going, if you were interested in uh, in renting a storage unit, okay, at, in like in your in your area, where would you go to rent the storage unit? Okay, where would you go is the question, and um, you could put that into the chat. What is the fastest growing uh, search engine? in the country right now what's the fastest growing search engine is another question and uh and and uh where would you go to find your your facilities now we all go online okay so i just talked about that we're going to go online but where online would you go specifically what would you do where would you go let me know in the search if you wanted to rent a unit where would you go to look? Would you just, you know, would you just drive, you know, drive around until you found a storage facility, right? You know, no, nobody's going to just drive around and like, aim, you know, randomly find a storage facility. Nobody goes to the yellow pages anymore. Now, one of my students did buy a facility where the owner, the, the owner, the only place that he, he did his advertising was in the yellow pages, still to this day. So he had never changed that in the last like 20 years that he owned the facility. But nowadays, nobody goes to the yellow pages, all right? Nobody goes to the yellow pages. So where do they go to find storage, right? We all know, everybody was posting this out. All right, yes, I saw Google Maps, all right? Yes, Google Maps, somewhere that has good reviews online. I would say the fastest uh, engine is Google. Yes, start Google search. I just use my uh, general search engine and see what pops up. I would, uh, I would uh, Google nearby facilities and choose based on the price and location. Um, and then it says, looking for something that feels safe in me. I don't think I've looked at yellow pages in 20 years. Exactly, right? So that's, yeah, that's exactly right, Anthony. So, so yeah, so, um, so you're right. Everybody nowadays goes to Google Maps. Now, I don't know, like, because I'm not an iPhone person. Is there like Google Maps on iPhone or do they have like their own mapping thing? Because I'm not, I'm not aware of that, how that works. Okay. So Google Maps is on iPhone as well as on, um, on, on the Android phone. Okay, good. And okay, so then what you would do is you essentially just get your phone, right? And then you just go to, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but you go to, uh, you just go to Google Maps or actually you could do exactly what uh, some of the people said, they do like just storage near me in the search engine, or you go to Google Maps and you type storage near, near me, right? That's how everybody's finding their storage facilities now, nowadays, right? So you as the owner, your job is to, be on Google Maps because when you go to the Google search engine or you go to Google Maps, it's essentially it leads you to the same place, which is Google business listings, right? So as a storage facility owner, your job, once you close on your deal, your job is to get on Google business listings. Now, the truth of the matter is, is that getting on Google business listings is not easy at all. It's not easy. Has anybody ever uh, here, has anybody ever got, put their business on Google business listings? And let me know like, you know, how it worked or whatever. See, the thing is, is that most storage facility owners, especially like the ones that I buy, the smaller mom and pop ones. Now, when you get into like bigger facilities that are like big businesses, like I would say maybe two, three, four, five, not even 200, maybe 300, 400, 500 units. That might be a little bit different, but I'm talking about these like kind of smaller facilities. 
We're buying a facility right now about, it's gonna, it's 217 units. I'm gonna pitch it this week. And, um, and uh, the owner still, he has no mailbox. He has no mailbox at all. In fact, he doesn't even, he doesn't even use like a website or anything like this. It's a whole lot of nothing. Okay. So you want to be getting onto Google business listings. All right. And when you get onto Google business listings, essentially now we can go to Google maps and we can search for storage facilities on Google maps. Now, I always tell everybody when you go to Google Maps and you look for um, storage, most of the time, when you're uh, like when you're searching storage near me, you'll find storage facilities that are obviously there on Google Maps. They went through the whole process to get onto it, but the truth is, is that there's probably a lot of storage facilities that are not on Google Maps.